Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we will see how to play with the modified bonding property to modify the look of a fabric simulation and make it return progressively to its initial state. As usual, you can find the file for this project as well as all the other projects on my Patreon. Okay, we start now. Okay, so we are into this max and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a plane. Subdivision at 100. And I will create four points at each end of my plane, which will serve as point of attachment. Okay, good. I now create a type of setup. Open editor. And I will now create a brush object. Pick my plane. Hide it. And cover this plane to close with a close bind operator. For the stiffness, I'm not going to touch anything, except maybe increase the bend to 0.5. Okay. Now I will add an object test. Select my four point and add them. I cannot create an object bind operator. I do the same by adding this four point in my object bind. And I will now link this event to my object test in order to tell my fabric to remain frozen on this point. We can see here in green the selected point. I will already increase my time step in order to have a very clean simulation and maybe reduce the distance a little bit to really stay on the extremities. Perfect. I will now create a force to show you if it works. Add maybe a slight turbulence. And you can see that my fabric is well held by my four point. That's what we wanted first. I will now deactivate the force because I don't need it at this moment. We will now create an object to activate all effect. Maybe a box here. And now I will animate the scale of this box with two keyframes. Perfect. This is what will gradually activate our effect and tell the fabric to stretch. I go back to type flow. I will add a uh, surface test operator. Select volume inside. And pick my box. I can now add a modify binding. And link this event to my surface test. For the scalar property I stay on length. And I will choose multiply current for the operation. I will now select the values that interest me, stretch, shear and bend, and change the values. 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and for the bend 0 0.5 I think. We can see here in pink the aura activated by our box, and also that our effect starts directly at frame 0, which is not what we want. I want to start later, maybe frame 20. So I go in surface test, timing, event age, and I set the start to frame 20. I can now run my simulation, and we can see that the effect follows the deformation of our box well. Perfect. I can now move forward in our animation, and we see that the stretch is really very good like that. Very nice effect. We can of course have fun changing our three values here in order to increase or decrease the pressure on our fabric. You can see that different values allow to modify the final rendering. But I think my values are pretty good like this, so I'm sticking with this one for now. We can see the animation again. Everything works perfectly well. And what we want now is to return to the initial state. I will therefore create a time test operator. Value at 70 I think to have enough time. And I will now create another modify binding operator. I link it to this time test. You can if you want to play with inflation to add an additional effect. But for the moment we will stay on what we want. In operation I will select reset to original. 
if I advance in this animation, we can see that this event has passed well thanks to the blue particles, but that nothing is happening for the moment. This is because you will have to select the properties you want to activate. So, stretch, shear, and bend. And we can see that we still have our stretch animation and that gradually following the activation by the box, the fabric will return to its original shape. I can add if I want a turbo smooth. Return to close to activate the CUDA collision solver to have a better close look. Self collision to have a fabric with clean collisions. And now if I restart my animation with more frame, maybe we can see that everything works perfectly. Beautiful effect. So here is how to play with the fabric properties with Typeflow. You can, if you want, with this knowledge create many different effects and play around with modified bending if you want to add inflation as well. Okay guys, so it's over for this tutorial, I hope you've learned a lot of things. Don't forget to thumb up and subscribe if you like my work. As always, you can find all my projects on my Patreon. And of course, follow me on Instagram or Beyond if you want. See you soon for next tutorial guys. Bye.